Have a little faith. Hello and welcome everyone, Laha here, and today I've got an early access first look at the new DLC for Total War Warhammer 2, The Hunter and the Beast. It launches on the 11th of September, but Creative Assembly have been kind enough to give me early access, and today I'm allowed to show you guys some footage featuring Nakai the Wanderer, who leads the Spirit of the Jungle faction, a new Lizardmen faction included in the DLC. Now I thought for this first early access video, I'd do a custom battle up against the Huntsman's Expedition, the other new faction included in the DLC, which is led by Marcus Wolfhart. The armies hopefully are fairly balanced according to the balance of power up here, but the main point of this video is just to have a bit of fun and show off the new units that both of these factions have, obviously while playing as Nakai the Wanderer and the Spirit of the Jungle. Have a quick look through their armies and then we'll dive on into the battle. We're playing on the Slan Gold map, uh, we're the defenders, although with all of the war wagons that I've given uh, the Hunts Marshals expedition, we might have to charge on out and break their lines, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, I've got five Temple Guard units, then I've got the new Razordon Hunting Pack unit. I've also brought along their Regiment of Renown, the uh, Amaxon Barbs, and uh, yeah, they're pretty darn nice. They add uh, poison attacks over the regular Razordon Hunting Pack. Uh, then I've also brought along three units of the new Sacred Croxagors. They have uh, magical uh, attacks and their Regiment of Renown, so their fourth Sacred Croxagor unit, also adds um, Sundered Armor uh, with their attacks as well. So that's really nice. They also have like cool sort of like uh, electricity or I guess magical uh, energy zapping around their, their fists, which look really cool. We'll take a good look at all the models before we start the battle as well. Uh, most importantly, because I know you guys will probably be asking this, I've brought three Dread Saurans. So we've got a Feral Dread Sauron, we've got a regular Dread Sauron, and we've got the Regiment of Renown Dread Sauron, the Shredder of Lustria. So I cannot wait to see these guys in action. Um, so the main difference between Dread Saurons, Regiment of Renown, and the Feral Dread Sauron is that the Dread Sauron and the Regiment of Renown um, have a range attack as well. They basically have like some skinks on their back. Uh, so that gives them a uh, pretty hefty missile damage attack there, 612, and it's poison as well with a range of 115, whereas the Feral Dread Sauron is just a melee monster to uh, to throw on in there, plus um, it has Rampage on it too. So I've got a couple of the Salamanders in there for good measure, and I brought one flyer just for fun. Uh, over to the AI leading the Hunts Marshals Expedition. Obviously, I've got them with Marcus Wolfheart. Give them two halberdiers, four great swords, then we've got uh, two archers, one a regular unit of archers, and the Regiment Renown, the Death Jacks archers. So they're obviously the new units um, with the Hunts Marshals Expedition. Then we've also got um, Huntsmen included as well, and they're, they're archers as well, but they're anti-large. Uh, and you'll definitely be wanting plenty of them coming up against all the terrifying lizard men that you'll be encountering if you're playing a Marcus Wolfheart campaign. Um... Brought along the White Wolves Huntsman as well, Regiment of Renown. I've thrown in some handgunners as well, some armor piercing in there. Uh, then two units of Empire Knights, so they've got some cavalry. And then I've given them two regular war wagons, which are armor piercing missiles. Uh, and they can fire whilst moving, range of 130. And then we've also got a war wagon with a mortar, anti infantry one there, range of 340. And then I've given them their Regiment of Renown one as well, the Black Lions, which is a war wagon with a Hell Blaster volley gun attached to it. Um, so that's been pretty awesome. I don't think that can fire while moving. I think it has to be set up. But that's got some pretty tasty missile damage, 772. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that in action. And um, I've given them a steam tank for good measure as well. So I think this is fairly balanced. We'll find out if it's not. But end of the day, Dread Sorens. Let's dive on in. Okay, so we're on the map. We're defending. Thought that was apt for us here. Like the scenario that the Huntsman has come to claim the Slan Gold. Spirit of the Jungle. Nakai the Wanderer will not let them have it. So let's have a quick look at all these units. Then we'll do um, setting up deployments. That's Nakai the Wanderer. A mighty Croxagore. 
Seen quite a bit of action. Many battles with all the scars over Nakai there. The massive... Is that like a staff? Or is that just a huge mace? This looks awesome. So then behind we've got the uh, sacred Proxigors. And they've got sort of this sort of golden energy pulsing around their like their gauntlet fists, which just look insane. The original renown version, though, look at these boys. I've got like this one's got orbs at the end. They've all got sort of different models. Some of them have got like a a lizardman face on the end. Some horns or big old teeth at the end. These guys have got sort of like this blue electrical energy blasting around. Obviously, they are um, sort of brown with orange markings on them compared to the regular sacred croxigors, which are white and blue. Or is that just variations in their color pattern? No, it's just sort of white and blue coloring. And there we go. <laughs> There's the big boys themselves. Got the feral dread Soren there. Nothing on his back. Let's... Um, Set you guys up a little bit so we can see properly. This is the Shredder of Lustria, Dread Soren. So this is the Regiment of Renown. Here's some big, big boys. And you've got loads of skinks on your back. I'm sure they're, the Dread Soren's super happy about that. Purple highlights and eyes. And my other... Where's my other Dread Soren? Oh, it's over this side. These are some big, big boys. Can't wait to see them in combat. They have pretty low melee defense, though. But while they are big and mighty, you probably won't just be able to throw them in without some support. The weapon strength is disgusting. 750. Melee attack 52. Comparing that over to the Shredder of Lustria, Dread Soren. 64 on the melee attack. So, yeah, we should be able to um, take down some Huntsman fairly nicely and then finally new unit wise we've got the Razordon hunting packs you guys you guys look really nice those all those uh, horns all over your backs again you can use them for missile or you can send them into melee but their melee attack is very low as is their defense so best to keep them back unless you can get a really good flank on round I would imagine similar to how you use salamanders but they don't have quite as much range as salamanders. Uh, the missile damage isn't as high. But they're armor piercing. So they should be good, hopefully, at bringing down armored targets. We'll see how they fare. Right, let's get these guys deployed up. Right, temple guard out in front. Croxigors. Right, rather, the... Sacred Croxigors. Haven't brought any of the regular ones. We'll have them behind. I'm not sure I've got enough deployment space here. We'll have to move them out once we uh, get going, once we move forward. They've also got the Regiment Renown one. They've got like darker, darker scales, blue scales. Looking cool. Them on one side. We'll have the Salamanders on the other. This is a tight deployment. Did not plan this well. And then I guess I have all the Actually, well, probably one in the middle and then one on each side. Dread Sorens. There's some big, big boys. Oh, we've got a, we've got a Carnosaur. I totally forgot we had a Carnosaur in here, but I guess... Here we go. Don't have a banana available. So here's a Carnosaur for scale on that Dread Soren. You're a little tiny boy now. Look at this big, this big bad boy behind you. Regiment of Renown in there as well. I've got a Ancient Stegodon with Engine of the Gods too, because that's quite a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to have you guys back here. Try and, try and harass and utilize the Warwains. We'll take a look at them as well now. They're set up quickly. I think we're all set up where we want to be there, then we can start the battle. Crack on with it, Lionheart. Alright, so War Wagons. Will it show me the stats? Yeah, here we go. Here's the war wagons. Basically, a complement of uh, missile infantry sitting in there, poking their heads up and firing some shots off. It's pretty cool. 
in the other wagons. Then we've got the mortars. Just literally mounted a mortar in the back. Where's the... Here we go. The Black Lions. The Hell Blaster volley guns in them. That's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see that in action. Although, um, I'll wait a little bit if it does a lot of damage to me. We've got more war wagons over there. Let's have a look at the... Um, their archers. I think some of them are hidden though. Yeah, I can't take a good look at them all. We can take a look at this unit of archers and that's it. This is Dave the archer. Dave's about to have a bad day when he gets munched on by a big old dread sauron. Right, I think that's all we need to show aside from Wolfheart. But he's also hidden. Being a stealthy boy. Let's begin. I'd like for them to come to me, but I don't know if that's um, going to be possible or not. With them having a fair bit of artillery. Have a little looky. I'm marching on forward. I'm, that's why I brought the uh, pterodons, just in case this mortar was a bit too much. Oh, there we go. God, they move forward and they fight. No setup time, really. Oh, the little other oh, front bit opens. They fired off some starting shots. They're bringing up the war wagons. Now, we don't have much in the way of missile besides the Umbral Tide. And uh, the the uh, Salamander hunting packs and the Razor Dawn hunting packs. So let's see if we can get them down. They're marching forward with most of them now. We'll hold our position then. Actually, before things do kick off even further. Nakai Wanderers show his stats off and ability wise we've got Cold Blooded Primal Roar which gives us plus 22% physical resistance and plus 44 melee attack but does um, fire off a rampage and that's um, self and allies in area of 30 meters and we've also got Miasma of Despair which is minus 8 leadership, minus 24 speed and minus 9 vigor um, to enemies within 40 meter radius. Oh, here we go. We can see we go for a quick pause just so we can take a look at Wolfheart over here. There he is. With his, this is Amber Bow. That's his uh, unique weapon. Coming up with all the, the great swords. So we can also see I think these are huntsmen here. Oh, these are the White Wolves huntsmen. So the Regiment of Renown Huntsman that you can get. Looking good. And then we've got regular Huntsman yet in the green and yellow. Just firing off a shot. Notching the next arrow. Uh, was it just... Um, no, that's all the Huntsmen. We've seen all the archers. I think we haven't seen the Regiment of Renown archers, I don't think. But over here, just regular archers. Oh, here we go. The Death Jacks. And they're green. Very nice. Right. I think we should probably send a Dread Sauron or three to munch some faces. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, we don't want to go straight up against the halberdiers, do we? We'll try and go through you guys around so we can see the razor on hunter pack. oh they they have it in there is it in their tails that they're firing like quill spray almost let's send in the sacred croxigors as well so Oh, Dread Sorens. Munching. I mean, I don't know why I'm so surprised, to be honest. Dread Sorens are always going to munch some faces. Look at them go. Run with your war wagons. They are taking some pretty hefty hits, though, from all these missile troops so far. Will Lionheart lose the Regiment of Renown straight away? Let's get Nakai the Wanderer in there. Oh, <laughs> their morale is dropping hard.
I haven't even used Mikael on a sword. You guys hunt. I right, go after Wolfheart there. We'll have a Wolfheart and the Kai battle off. Oh, he's Rampage. Red Sauron's coming to eat you. And there's all the javelins being fired as well. Oh! That's a slam. Let's have a quick look at these Croxigals if we can. Red Sorens just munching. Oh, he's going down. He's he's gone. Great Souls never stood a chance. Oh, just being smushed. Oh, we're about to lose this Dread Sauron, though. It's been broken. The war wagons have taken it down. Oh, it's just shattered. Is out of here. Not quite over yet. So, yeah, Dread Sorens, as mighty and fearsome as they are. Gotta make sure you take out the missile units. Of the enemy. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Keep going forward. Take out that war wagon. Oh, that's a broken wagon. Oh, yeah. The Razor Don's making short work of the wagon. Oh, the, the steam tank is just chilling over here. You've wrecked the wagons. Love all the skinks hanging on the back for dear life. Clinging on. Oh yeah, god, these your Razordons, great at taking down the steam tank. They are obviously armor piercing. Oh, just shredding through it. Yeah, these guys can do some pretty good skirmishing. The war wagons, even as they pull back, covering their retreat, they're still doing a lot of damage. Yeah, you, you archers, you're going to die. And there is the victory. Oh, he just pummeled him into... That, like, pulls up a rock and then smashes the rock down. Oh, we only lost one dread sword, and I think that one just shattered off the map. Although this one is so close to going down. Oh dear. Let's watch him have some fun. Oh yes. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, I got some like juices in my face there. Chase them down. Got the guy chasing them as well. Slow him down. Send him into a frenzy. Oh, yes. Oh, just smashing them. It's going to be good having some Dread Saurons on your side. But also, it's going to be good Trying to bring them down because my first 
My first Let's Play uh, with this new DLC is going to be a Marcus Wolfheart Vortex campaign. So we'll have to find a way to bring down these mighty beasties. It seemed like the war wagons were pretty effective at doing that. Definitely want to get the Black Lions Hellblaster one. We'll need to use our archers and huntsmen to maximum effect. So that we can take them all down and hunt this beastie. Right, there we go. Let's just take a look, quick look at the kills there. Actually lost 136. They lost 976. Oh, 221 kills with the Shredder of Lustre. Indeed, you did shred. Indeed, you did shred. The Sacred Croc score is getting plenty of kills um, through them. The um, the Bridge Renown one there, 96. Lovely stuff. Same with that one. Uh, Raised on didn't get that many kills with them, but they definitely were chipping away at that seam tank very nicely. I'm looking at this side. I mean, probably not fair. The AI i'm gonna use these guys to maximum effect they 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 got they got smushed anyway that's where i'm gonna wrap things up for this first um early access first look at the new dlc the hunter and the beast there'll be more to come so make sure you stay tuned and if you've liked what you've seen you want to pick up the dlc you want to pre-order it want to support the channel at the same time then feel free to check out the link to games planet that's in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section you can save a total of 15 percent by using the code BEAST5 at the checkout. I think it's already 10% uh, off over at Games Planet. But you can save an extra 5% for a total of 15% total by using BEAST5 at the checkout on Games Planet via my link below. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Until the next one, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, and QT. And do let me know down in the comment section who are you most looking forward to playing as and why. Akai the Wanderer or Marcus Wolfheart the Huntsman. Let me know down in the comment section. Until the next one, ciao for now.